guys, so today I'm filming a new video, finally. I know it's been forever, I apologize for that. And I'm also filming this on my new Canon SX50HS, so let me know what you think of the quality. I'm just experimenting with the lighting and everything. So right now it's about 6 o'clock at night and I'm just using artificial lights that are in my apartment, so I don't know how well the lighting's gonna look, so uh, yeah. But anyways, today I'm gonna be filming an empties video, so I have all my products in this bag right here. And basically an empties video was me showing you all the products I've used up for the past month, uh, my thoughts on the products, and if I would repurchase. So I'm just gonna start by grabbing something in here. And the first thing I pulled out is my Aveeno Ultra Calming Makeup Remover Wipes. So these you can pick up at the drugstore. They are oil-free, non-comodogenic, dermatologist tested, and ophthalmologist tested. These are my favorite makeup wipes. Uh, I feel like they do the best job at removing makeup off your face. They don't irritate my eyes, and they are very moist, which I find is a problem with a lot of makeup wipes, that they are not very moist. And these retail for around like $6. I think you can get them at Target or Walmart, but they're my favorite ones, and I've already repurchased another pack. The next thing in my bag of goodies is my Clean and Clear Essentials Foaming Facial Cleanser for Sensitive Skin. I've purchased this multiple times. This is from the drugstore. I get it at Target usually when it's on sale. This is my go-to everyday face wash. I use this in the morning in the showers. I find that it does a good job of just cleaning my face and leaving it, leaving a fresh, fresh slate, I can't talk right now, for me applying makeup in the mornings. And I've already repurchased another bottle of this as well. So the next thing I have is my Bath and Body Works Fragrance Mist in the Scent Moonlit Path. I got this as a Christmas gift from a coworker a couple of years ago, uh, and I've just been carrying it in my purse because it's a mini size, so whenever I need to freshen up during the day or if I'm out, I would use this. I was not a huge fan of the scent. It reminded me of an old, an old grandmother or something, but I used it up uh, just, you know, because it was a gift and I didn't want it to go to waste. And there's a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of product in the bottom, but it will not come out. So I will not repurchase this scent, but I really like products from Bath & Body Works. Next, I have a Tresemme Luxurious Moisture Conditioner. I bought this from Target in like the mini product section, so this is what it looks like. It's kind of bent. Uh, I needed a conditioner, and I didn't know like which one to buy, so I bought this just to try it. I didn't notice anything special with this. It was good for daily use, but honestly, I didn't notice. It didn't like make a terrible difference on my hair when I used it so I won't repurchase this. All right, so next in here I have two samples of this MD Formulations Facial Cleanser. Let me show you these. Um, these were like one use only. I couldn't get two uses out of them. I got these in my, my Muse box. It's another beauty sort of subscription service. I will link the blog post I did below on it. I thought these were okay. They were not, they didn't do anything special for my skin. I, I wouldn't repurchase this only because I didn't notice a huge difference when I used it, but those are the samples. Next I have a really tiny sample that might be hard for you guys to see, but this is what it looks like. It's a Prada sample that came in this tiny, tiny, tiny little container. So let's see. So that's what it looks like. This was a sample of the Reviving Biofirm Concentrate for your face. So the, what basically what this little guy did was it had a little like yellowish colored liquid in it and it was supposed to brighten your skin and you would use it in the morning before applying a like a moisturizer or something. I found that this actually really did brighten my skin. I was pleasantly surprised for it, by it and I think it's, this little sample guy would go for like $60 which is ridiculous. Uh, I really liked it but and it had a kind of a strange smell, but I definitely noticed a difference in my skin when I used it. It definitely was a lot brighter and I looked more awake. Uh, I would repurchase this, but it's so expensive and I have no idea where you would buy it. So that is the story behind that little guy. Next, I have my final Urban Decay Primer Potion um, by Urban Decay. So like, this is the old packaging. I've been trying to use this monster up forever. Uh, it does the job for a primer. It is expensive. I think it retails for like $24 to $25 at Sephora. 
I have bought these on Whole Look in the past when they go on sale for like nine or ten dollars, which is a really good deal if you like the Urban Decay Primer Potion. Right now, I'm currently using the Elf Primer because it's a dollar, but the one I have is kind of dried out, so I think I'm gonna have to get rid of it. So if you guys have a primer you would recommend to me, I actually get really oily eyelids, and you might be able to tell right now. I'm not really sure. I'm not wearing any makeup today. I was really lazy because it snowed this morning, and I didn't really have time to apply makeup. But I get have really oily. Uh, oh, bleh. I have really oily eyelids, so if you guys have a recommendation for a good primer, please let me know and I will check it out. And the last two things are here are philosophy samples that I got in a little like kit from Holt Look about a month ago, and so I've used these two up. So the first one I have here is the Philosophy Amazing Grace Shower Bath, Shampoo, Bath, and Shower Gel. This is amazing. I have, I don't even know what to say about this stuff. It smelled so good and it worked it was made my skin feel so soft there's not a description of this scent but the packaging says packaging i can't talk the packaging says life is a classroom we are both student and teacher each day is a test and each day we receive a passing or failing grade in one particular subject grace i love this i want to get a full size of the body wash i want to get a perfume in this scent i want to get a shampoo i love this scent so much and i just loved this it was amazing i i can't even talk about it in any other light. It was so good. And then the other philosophy product I used up was the Philosophy Pure Grace, which is a shampoo, shower gel, and bath, bubble bath as well. This is kind of like, the scent was like Amazing Grace, except not as strong. And this was more of like a, how would you describe this? Like a fresh clean sheet sort of smell. I wasn't overly impressed with that one. I felt like the product itself had a different, um, the formula of it was a little bit different, like it was a little thinner than the Amazing Grace, and I felt like it was just like watered down, it wasn't as good, so that one I wouldn't repurchase. I wasn't as, I didn't mind the scent, but I preferred Amazing Grace. So that's all I have in this empties video. Let me guys know what you think of the video quality or anything I could do to improve it, and I will talk to you later. Bye!